uh, to be on deep was uh, quite emotional actually, but it's helped me sort of uh, identify behaviours, it's helped me uh, get to know myself better. I had done rehab before, it wasn't successful. I'd then spent five years trying to get clean in the rooms, so I'd been given a lot of the tools that I needed to get clean, but I couldn't get clean. I, well, I could get clean, but I couldn't stay clean. You know, and going on deep was that there's a catalyst for me changing. Uh, for me, deep was um, quite emotional, um, hard work, you know, learning about oneself and understanding who, who, who Kenny Archer is um, and having that self-belief as well that I can remain abstinent, recover. It was pretty intense, emotional. Spent a lot of time in there um, to get into the bottom of your problems, really. I went to places I didn't want to go. Things I put to the back of my mind for years. Deep brought them out. No, you don't want to do that, but it works. I didn't really like it at first, but then um, once I got in there, I think it saved my life. Um, I come straight out of jail. Uh, I'm very glad that I did it. Like I say, it was tough, it's meant to be. It's supposed to be, you know, to challenge you, take you out of your comfort zone, get you looking at yourself, you know, which is something I avoided for a long time. I've gone in with an open mind this time. I've done it before. Didn't get it properly first time around. Um, long, long term addiction and you know alcohol problems. Underneath all the masks I used to wear, um, you know, quite a scared person. You know, I've uh, had some traumas in my life. D brought me down, helped me remove all the masks I used to, you know, be wearing. You know, looking back at the, the damage I'd done, the anguish, the despair, um, the hurt to myself, to my family, to the point where, you know, I, I was stood alone, lonely, um, and isolated, just hating the world, fell out with God, and blaming everyone else. I think the most significant part for me was the the letter that I had to write to my daughter as though I was on my deathbed were really upsetting about what could happen, you know, um, if I carried on the way I was going. And the other was to write in a letter to my daughter. Um, that brought up real, some powerful emotions, you know, because all they want was um, daddy. Um, a relationship with Daddy, and I fell short of that. Yeah, probably. Um, we had to do a letter to my kids that like, is always on my deathbed. I feel that made me think a lot because uh, that can happen in me a lot in my life, can it? If you're on drugs. How many kids you got? Four. And um, they're all disabled. I didn't touch drugs till I lost them. Like, i all got muscle dystrophy. Um, I can't manage them anymore. I asked for social for help now. And um, they didn't basically, so... Uh, they've got, like, wheelchairs and stuff. Just can't manage them anymore. Split up with that, they use, like, battery and stuff. Um, yeah, probably my last story as well. That was hard. Just my childhood, really, um, and just like writing all the beatings I had, and um, what was wrong with my kids, losing my family, and when I was on drugs, where it took me in them dark places, like selling myself and getting sold, and in a night of jail and whatever. Yeah, for me, it was a life story, you know. Uh, I kind of had all of those things that I wrote down on paper in my head, uh, but I had avoided them all my life. These are things that happened to me in my life. These are things that I've done to other people. And writing them down on a piece of paper instead of having them swirling around my head was, a, was a, an opportunity for me to go, you know what, I've done this. I've been responsible for, for this. 
Uh, it was easy writing the parts where I didn't do anything wrong. You know, when I was growing up, a lot of the stuff that happened to me I, it wasn't my fault. You know, but when I got to the point where I started using drugs, from the moment I started using drugs till the moment I went into deep, every significant event in my life was down to my drug use. You know, there was things that I put in my life story I've never shared. Um, so the life story uh, was a turning point. However, further I got some le consequences letters and we did some psycho dramas. Uh, one of the exercises were, was a chair, um, you know, and uh, I spoke to some members of my family and stuff. Uh, it's quite emotional actually. But yeah, it's kept me grounded. I didn't have a purpose. So I just stayed in the house, drank, took drugs. The only time I went out the house was to get more drink and drugs. And that's the only time I went out. I isolated for 10 years. In addiction, I was the one that sort of isolated myself quite a lot and just just became that way out, you know, thinking that I don't really associate with anybody, I don't really associate with people. And I thought that was just, that was it was like that for me, which I believe made things a lot harder, you know. Um, so the connections with other people that you got out of deep and the ability to maybe make new friends, people that are going through the same thing, help them, you know, be helped by them as well. It's definitely something I've, uh, I've come to to get used to it in a really good way. Well, the big part for me was doing the psychodramas. There are various dramas, if you like, we put ourselves through, which take us back to some part of us that we can't cope with. Uh, for me, it was facing um, traumas from my past. I was able to, to, you know, to learn how to face them, how to challenge them, uh, and how to get a bit stronger within myself. I had quite a tough upbringing, mate. A lot of people in, in recovery have had a tough upbringing. And like I said before, it's like, because of that, I almost thought I was allowed to treat myself badly and treat other people badly. I've made myself accountable now. Um, you know, and everyone has to deal with things in life without the use of drugs, that's what normal people do. Deep has taught me that I can deal with feelings, you know, they won't kill me. Just help me open up in general, I suppose. I were a bit uh, boxed off. Um, I wasn't opening up. Because obviously, when you're in a group setting, you've got to get trust from the group and stuff. And after that point, I just felt like, you know, I could say anything, um, get anything out. I don't know, I didn't really trust anyone when I first come in. And, um, getting all this stuff out. I thought it was just getting me depressed sort of thing, but um, then I got used to it and I feel better than I've ever felt now. I were angry or on my way to death. And I didn't care. John woke me up. I don't know he won't like me saying this, but he saved my life, that guy. Deep saved my life. During active addiction, there was all that emotional chaos, impulsive behaviours, um, reactions to situations, all these masks that are wear for different people, places and situations. But by going into deep and that, I'm looking at that stuff and realise that all that stuff is my ego. It seemed like I was, you know, as a people please, I wanted to be someone else to please other people. Once I challenged that and done the suggested things, um, I felt quite vulnerable. Um, naked and during that process there was a sense of serenity that happened and calm here um, and all the emotions that was going on for me you know I can think and, and it would drop and I'd feel it I could sit with it um, it's not gonna kill me um, I'm a lot calmer now um, than, than, what I'm, than what I was. My way of thinking has changed dramatically. Just feel a lot, uh, a lot better now. I can speak to people now if I have a problem. Before, I just used to keep it to myself. I didn't actually have anyone that I could talk to. I made excuses when I was drinking. I made massive excuses to myself. 
kids won't come, grandkids won't turn up. I think, oh, they're busy, they're busy. I'm glad they didn't come now. I didn't want them to see me like that. Uh, yeah, it's given me a lot more confidence, you know, to be myself, a bit more comfortable in my own skin. It's generally more relaxing you know, on, a daily, on a daily basis, which then you can think about other things in like the future, what you're going to do with your life. Well, the, the issues that I used to keep buried, as it were, I, I would only raise it when I was drinking, and I'd end up, you know, uh, feeling sorry for myself and angry. I haven't done the psychodramas and I haven't done the deep programme. The result now, you know, I can move forward now without uh, these things pestering my mind. So basically, it's cleared out the rubbish. You know, I've been clean now for 15 weeks and, you know, I'm finally allowing myself to be the person that I've always wanted to be, you know. I always thought I was a bad person. And I'm not, I just use drugs, and when I use drugs, I become a bad person. So, you know, my relationships with my fiance, my daughter, everyone, but the two key ones are the relationship with my fiance and my daughter, you know, it makes me happy to see them happy. I've been with, you know, my fiance a long time, and I've seen her broken for a long time, and, you know, she's getting better as well as me, and, uh, that's priceless, it makes me happy. You know, I'm a father, I have three children, um, and I have a wife. Prior coming to do everything around me was falling out of place, you know, just everything around me because of my behaviours and the way I was. I was just destroying myself, as well as, you know, my closest and dearest. But now I've got all that back in my life uh, because I have addressed you know, the things I needed to address. You know, I'm not fully there, I'm still learning, uh, and I believe it's the uh, start of a new journey. My children are back in my life, and um, they forgive. You know, I've always loved my children, but I just never showed that loving, caring side and had a really honest, um, quality relationship with them. But it's there now. I remember there was a void, um, feeling emotionally dead, spiritually dead. And them coming back into my life has is, is, filled that void. And there was a time where I didn't think I was worthy of being called that, because um, I wasn't. But today, when I hear them say that, it just gives me joy um, and that sense of acceptance again which has helped me to forgive myself um, and move forward. I've started to build a bit of a relationship uh, back with my daughters. Um, it's just going very slowly at the moment. But uh, it's rebuilding the trust that I lost, as, as in looking after them. When I split with my partner, I used to have the kids at the weekends and during the school holidays, and uh, but I lost that trust, and I'm, I'm just slowly rebuilding it. Quite a good feeling, actually. Yeah, it's the best thing that could could have happened to me, and it's funny in such a space, short space of time, um, getting all these things back. Uh, you know, it's it's amazing. It's like a, a miracle. I had nothing. I lost my kids, my wife, my own, my dignity. It's all coming back now, all of it. I'm not losing that again. I mean, I've been clean now for probably about seven months. So it's not really got onto the stage of maybe getting a good relationship with my daughter back. I did too much damage. But I've noticed from things that my family have said, you know, that uh, they noticed a big change in me, you know, a, a new person, so to speak and it's given me a lot more confidence to maybe one day in the future, say, approach the mother and, and my daughter and maybe make amends and, and get that relationship back on track. I really do hope that, you know, for the future because you know, I love my daughter to bits and we're, she's a bit of a daddy's girl and, you know, I definitely like that, that connection work. It was all or nothing for me. Um, I did it in 
But although I was staying residential, I'm also from the same area where, you know, I did my deep program, um, the temptation and everything. We're just around the corner from me, one phone call away, but it's something I needed to address. Yeah, definitely a sense of achievement, definitely proud of myself. And I mean, others can see the change in me. You know, others have noticed a massive change in the way I used to be and am today. One of the reasons I kept relapsing is because my expectations of what being clean was like were too high. Expectations of what I should feel like after a month or two months of not using drugs. Expectations of what I should have. I'm just taking it day by day, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but day by day, things are getting a lot better. I know I can never use drugs successfully, I know I can never drink successfully, but I can do everything else. There's nothing else I can't do. And I intend on living my life to the full. You know, anything's possible. My hopes are to maintain my recovery. And, um, you know, I know I can't do this on my own. I have tried in the past and it's never worked give something back, you know, I'd like to do ramp, help others. I've always wanted to do like, further education, um, so I could maybe look into that, or find a nice job that I actually like. Maybe we're helping with somebody. Um, I don't know what that is yet, but I'm in, only early days in, so uh, we'll just have to see. My felt uh, future is to rebuild my life, a life without drink or drugs, and try and build myself some kind of a career just to live a, an healthy life. All these people have been where I've been, and I believe, I, I believe I've, helped some, I've helped them the way they've helped me. That's what this program's about, helping each other as well. I'm being more honest. I'm not committing no crimes. I'm getting everything back I wanted, I've got my life back. I'm just, yeah, I'm just happy with what I've got. I'm really grateful for what Deep's given me. Me and my wife are estranged at the moment. There are other issues involved, but uh, essentially, uh, I became a big pain, you know. With, I think uh, in the long term, over the next couple of years, uh, we'll be re reworking out our position, you know, as a, a married couple we'll probably get back together. You know, there's no guarantees there, but certainly the relationship will be, will be a lot more stable. Some of the things we enjoy doing together, we can, we can you know, rebuild. Uh, and the realistic plans we can make. I intend on going back into education, you know, again, get back into employment, and just to be a good member of society. And I know before, before this programme, all of these things won't have been possible. I'm appreciating the time I spend with my family, everything sinking in, the behaviours of my children, the conversations I have with my wife. You know, I've still got work to do on myself, uh, but yeah, the masks I had have, you know, they've been brought down. Yeah, you know, I would like to mention how grateful I am for Acorn. Uh, I'm grateful for the people here at Burnley. Uh, I'm eternally grateful for the councillor James, you know. It has been an hard journey getting to where I'm at today and sometimes I can feel sad. Um, but I can know I can go to deep and get connected again um, and bring me out myself, you know, they're always there and that door's always open. I'd gone back to Inspire having um, previously worked with Inspire and and uh, there was a, a lady there who uh, I'd like to thank for getting me into deep and rehab, uh, Lisa Archer. All the people at deep, all the people around, all my peers, people who spotted things that I was doing wrong and had the guts to tell me. I want to show a little bit of gratitude uh, towards Acor and Calico. I think what they've actually managed to piece together is absolutely amazing. You know, I mean, they are saving lives on a daily, weekly basis. I strongly recommend considering this as a form of action. If you're struggling with drugs or drink, yeah, you need to so you need some sort of intervention, and this is a very good opportunity. If it's presented to you, take it with both hands, definitely. Yeah, I just thought to say thank you to our, um, our lake, our Miller. 
Is it as it said, my life? It's changed me a it really has. It's got my family back. Most of all, my kids. Um, I'm just really grateful. I used to think I was weak because I was an addict, and I've met some of the strongest people I've ever met, you know. Uh, and, you know, I'd just like to... Oh, that's it. That's it, really.